Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. We are continuing with my project of a topical journal. And so last time I finished the cover and it was really bright. So what I ended up doing was just taking my ink and just swiping it here and there. And so today I want to pick out the pages and uh, put in the signature. So I have cut some pages and I have already decided that I won't be making them this size anymore because I just find that there's a lot of trimmage that um, I wasn't happy with. I mean, there's scraps and then there's, you know, making more scraps unnecessarily. And to me, that's kind of unnecessary. So I think I'm going to put the ones that I cut aside that I think are too bright. And I think this is one of them, although it's pretty. So there you go, scrap. Um, I think I have like a theme that I want to pursue here kind of a little bit on the grungy side and it's going to be difficult I'm thinking it's going to be difficult to call these so I have various papers here from different places and this one I'm just going to ink up because I specifically drew these flowers and that on here so that I could use this like I coffee dyed the edge. Something like that. So I hope you're doing well. And they're staying in the word. I admit it's been a little harder for me to be in the word since I stopped the series just because I don't feel like I have to be in it for um, getting a video out. So there's room for more discipline on my part. I get a lot of my papers from Victoria Designs. She's very generous with freebies if you sign up for her newsletter. Okay, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow, 
Well, let's go for it. Pocket. So then I have to order them. And then I have to decide where I want the pocket. How about right there? But I can do that later. Unless I want to put it in like that. Yeah, that works. All right. Some of these I have mistrimmed, but not going for perfection, just All right, so that is going to be the signature. And since there's just one, there's not going to be a whole lot to measure. So let's see. Will it fit? It's too big. It's sticking out. So in all my cutting, I didn't even get it right. Wow, I really misjudged that. All right, I'm going to take out my trimmer and I'll be back. I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to generally take half an inch off yet, both directions. So 
So I totally made that too complicated by not measuring properly in the first place. But now it should fit. So what I'm just gonna do is clamp down my pages. kind of line it up. So I'm going to do a three pamphlet stitch and I'm just going to estimate or guesstimate where I want my holes. I know I want it roughly in the middle. So I'm just going to Draw a rough line. That's almost two inches, so about an inch in. So that's the line I want to have in the center. Okay, so then I need some thread. I've got a few projects going on on the side here, so pardon me if some of the <laughs> stuff falls. Okay, so that's going to be the needle. That is the needle. Okay, so one I should really just slow down. I probably would be most beneficial. I usually do about three times. what I think I'm going to need. I think what I'm going to do is use the awl, first of all. Uh, all right, so roughly the center will be about there. center will be about there. All right, from there, oh, my center I is not good. Clamps were supposed to help and now they're hindering. All right, so what have I done here? I have gone 
I have miss eyeballed the center. It's all right. I'm going to I have done a few of these, by the way. I'm just gonna redo that one. It's not a big deal. Not really. Okay, so that one. Generally, I would put all the holes in first but because I didn't want to measure. Yeah, so now this is probably how not to do it. So what I actually want to do now is I should have just done it the way Kathy at Kathy's Garden taught me. All right, the center. I'm filming this on a Monday morning, so maybe that has something to do with it. The other thing is that the binding is, not the binding, the spine is um, kind of hard but the signature is not because I wasn't really planning ahead. All right, so I'm just gonna line this up. Try, try and line it up this time. Okay. Okay, and keep those in mind. And then line them up again and about there. And do be careful you don't poke holes into your skin. That's never a good idea. All right. Are we ready? Through the middle. And then through that hole there. where sorry I'm off camera but I needed to see where I was I needed to make sure I was aligned there okay so don't want to get the needle wrapped up in the thread don't want to pierce the thread either and I want to come up on the other side, like so. I hope I didn't pierce that. But I did. I can see that I have a little bit of the... Th 
thread on the other side of the needle, so I'm just going to fix that. Okay, not too bad. Make sure that the thread is taut. And I can take the needle out and put it away. And I can take these out. They're very cumbersome. All right, so then I'm going to make sure these are nice and tight. direction and then the other direction and one the original direction all right and then I can trim them trim the strings I'll do about there for now in case I decide to angle, add a dangle or something. Probably won't, but... Alright, so that's not the best looking journal I've made. But probably one of the quickest. So these pages are rather small. And if you want to know the final measurements from my stuffing box. So it's 11 and a half inches that way wide and about seven and a half tall. The paper now looks like it's But it's, it's the spine that is taking away the room from the page size. So the page size ended up being nine and a quarter inches by seven inches. So down from eight and a half by 11. So basically I just made sure that it they all fit and this is going to be a pocket so I'm just gonna start gluing that in. This pocket is from a piece of paper that I made with a napkin. I did it with a cornstarch mixture with water and then ironed it and I got that idea from Sasebo. And I told her I would link her if I ever used her projects, if I used her tutorial for one of my projects. So I guess that would be this one. And unfortunately it's kind of coming up on me. So. I did not master the project. Yeah. 
It's, it's a nice texture that I ended up with, but um, maybe my cornstarch mixture wasn't quite right. Anyway, so I'm using it for a small project. Okay, so that's I might have been better off to make two smaller signatures, but I didn't. All right, so I've had, I've, had, I've made better videos and I've had more success putting signatures in, but that's what we have for today. And I really didn't think I would get this far today. So what I'm going to do is um, end this video for now. And then we'll come back and start putting in pockets and decorating. And um, I'm going to go write out some scripture to put in those pockets. So, yeah, that's the papers and the signature. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.